This is Ron Boss Everline. Some people know me as Just Train. I'm here with Mary Shinuda, sometimes known as the Paleo Chef, but I really don't do paleo, but she's come to help me figure out how to cook. And obviously, um, cooking means making a smoothie. Um, making a smoothie, I met Mary. Complex. Huh? Smoothies are complex. Very complex. A lot of people like smoothies because they feel like it's a sugar craving and it helps them out. I like strawberries. I realized this was a frozen strawberry when I tried to bite into it as a regular strawberry and almost cracked my mouth. But that's neither here nor there. We came to give you guys some fresh, healthy ideas and healthy tips to stay healthy on the road, live balanced, and be free. We don't want this boring ass lifestyle. Sorry for cursing, but this ain't no PG, all right? This ain't for the babies and the kids. This for the mamas and the adults, the sister, brother, niece, nephews, cousins, all, all above the age of enough age. But Mary, what you gotta say? Tell them, Mary background is chefing. Um, she went to culinary school. Um, I didn't go to culinary oh, school. See? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so self taught, self taught, family taught. So, yeah, you're right. I am a private chef, private chef to athletes. We came together at an event for athletes. Yeah. Even though I'm the paleo chef, I actually believe in paleo. Yeah. All about finding what works for your body, which is why we're going to customize everything for you. You, me, yes. me, meaning you at home. Because you can try this and we're going to give you a little switch up to do and how you want to do it. And we want to make this special. That's why you're here in the kitchen and we're about to show you how to cook for dummies. I'm the dummy. <laughs> And I'm okay with that. Um, All upside. But I do know how to make eggs and toast. That's my thing. Do you make toast or you toast toast? I mean, who, who knows? Who tells? <laughs> so today we're going to make a smoothie. Mary's going to go through the basics of kind of what this smoothie is. How we met was this this particular smoothie. Yeah. Um, this smoothie was amazing. And I was like, oh, man, where you make that shit at? And she was like, oh, it's a personal little recipe. And I was like, oh, shit, I want that recipe. And she was like, nah, you got to come do the show. And I was like, well, it's my show. And she was like, well, so what? It's my show now because I'm the paleo chef. So <laughs> anyway, um, Just Train Nutrition. We want to bring some fun, healthy tips to you guys so you guys can stay tuned in and interested. Sorry, I, I, I talk too fast sometimes. And I'm gonna, you're going to teach me how to slow down and be better, right? I think you talk great. Oh. We gotta get everyone to keep up. Oh. Why would you slow down? Oh, you're right about that. You're right. So let's get into so the this. smoothie. This is super simple. We're gonna do it's a protein smoothie. Okay. Um, we're doing this one dairy free. But if you can do dairy, include dairy. We're choosing strawberries. Choose whatever fruit you want, but I choose berries. Okay. Because they're lowest in sugar, lowest in the glycemic index. So when you're making the berries. Make sure your hands is clean, number one, because you're going to be touching the berries if you're making them from other people. If you're making it for yourself, if you eat your own slop, you eat your own slop. So you want to put enough berries in there, obviously. About a cup. So you'll see that's about a cup. About a cup. Yeah, that's yeah. about a cup. And I prefer them frozen mm -hmm. over fresh just because of the texture thing. That's yep. where the chef and, comes in. And you don't have to use ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this helps out because obviously, and why do people use ice? Like. They want to fill it up, they want it to be cold, they uh -huh. want to have that texture. I think ice makes your smoothie watered down. So again, that's more of a taste preference. I want to have as much of the flavor of the ingredients as possible. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so we got so that. What's the next one? We're going to do protein of choice. So we're going to do a scoop of protein. Sorry guys, I'm eating strawberry. I'm going to say it right here. Actually, let's do the chipmunk cheeks and then do the whole thing that way. Okay. We're going to do a scoop, which is about 15 grams of protein. So again, your protein of choice. Your protein of choice. I'm gonna put two scoops because I'm a bigger guy and I need a little bit more protein than most people. Uh, you know, again, it's your choice how many scoops of protein you wanna put in the thing. He said two, but he did three. Oh, and I was gonna put a half. <laughs> Just a half, but. So you use your scoop of protein however you wanna do it and then make sure it's there. Yep. Perfect. And then your liquid of choice. We're going almond milk today. Almond milk, because again, this is a dairy-free smoothie that we're making yes, today. Yes, okay, yes. perfect. So, so I like to do a I, I, double I, up of what's on that. I'm gonna listen to you, but typically how I pour is so I pour based on like what I think, because I like my smoothie thick. Same, same, same. Yeah. So that's good. Yep, that's perfect. perfect. I usually do strawberries a cup, and then I'll do two cups of the milk or the liquid of choice. Okay. So we're going almond butter. Almond butter. I want so, to add a little more calories. A little it. bit more calories. I got a question. So when we open almond butter right at home, most people yeah. see it's liquidy at the top. Yeah. You know, why is that condensation at the top of the almond butter? That's how you know it's good almond butter. Okay. It means it's fresh, it's organic, and there is the oil separation of it. Okay. So so do they actually use almonds to make this butter? They do use almonds to make the butter. Like Just almond like milk. almond milk. Oh. We don't milk the almonds. We got to figure out how they made the almond milk, because I've always been curious, like, all of a sudden in the last few years, people just started making almond milk. So are they squeezing the almonds? Like, do almonds have a little like milk in them? Like little, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. We'll do a future one. We'll make homemade almond milk. 
But I'm still, you gotta really help me out because I'm, I've been trying to figure it out because every time I look at an almond, yeah. I'm looking at where they're squeezing the milk from. I think you're, you're, uh, you're probably squeezing them the wrong way. Oh. So next time we'll do it where you milk the almond and then I'll make it in the blender the way we're supposed to make it. I'm gonna figure it out because I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how these people milking these almonds. <laughs> So I want to do about a tablespoon of the almond butter or a okay. spoon. Okay, so, so this is a spoon. I'm a big fella. Yeah, okay? so that's about a tablespoon and a half. If you're just using a spoon, that's going to take out about a spoon and a half if you're doing so, anything. So what I will say, when you're when you're trying to stay lean and healthy, um, make sure that you really listen to what Mary's saying because the, the, the dosage, if I would use the wrong word, uh, is important to staying within your macros. Though I don't believe in macros. Um, but if you're a macro person that needs to count your macros, um, listen to Mary. It's like this, so like people think that they're making healthy choices. I'm using protein, I'm using almond milk, I'm using almond butter, but they don't think about the amount that they're using and sometimes they're like, I'm not losing weight. And it's like, well, use a tablespoon, don't use yeah. four tablespoons. Yeah. So you wanna be mindful of that depending on what your individual goals are. Yeah, I think it's really important. I personally don't like almond milk, I mean almond butter, like regular, you know? Um, my fiance goes to the store and she gets almond milk I mean, god damn it, almond butter. Sorry for cursing, but I really, I'm not. Um, almond butter, and then it's better, natural, because she sees them make it yeah, yeah, yeah. at Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah. But I still never see them on there, whatever. <laughs> what, do you do, what do you like to use? I, I just like regular peanut butter, but I know it's not, oh. most people know, like, I'm just not that complicated. I, I can afford regular peanut butter. This is, you know, if you show me a cheaper option for, almond butter, I would probably be buying, but. So I'm allergic to peanuts, and a lot of people will have stomach digestive issues with peanuts, so almond Well, I understand all the stuff that's going on in the, in the regular peanut butter, like certain things, but you pick your vice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I pick my We're vice. using almond butter in my kitchen. All right, I'm Even still though this is his kitchen, but today it's my kitchen. Yeah, it's your kitchen. Whenever you walk in the kitchen, it's yours. I'm still holding this, I'm confused. I don't want to just put it on the. Put it away. Oh, <laughs> I was looking for a nap. And then I always like to add some sort of yogurt because this is a probiotic okay. option. So probiotic really helps keep your gut so biome in balance. So yogurt is a dairy product typically, but this is this a non-free? This, this is a dairy-free, so it's a coconut cultured yogurt. If you can do dairy, use regular yogurt. Co I never heard of this. Koyo, so that's what we used at the event was koyo. So it's dairy-free, oh. it's vegan. Let me see how you scoop. Yogurt, I love yogurt. Well, let me see how you scoop it. Okay, and that's it. Yeah. That's and this enough. smoothie probably will take the average person four minutes to make. We're yeah. gonna, I mean, two minutes to make. We're gonna make this eight minutes because you need to understand why we're making this video. Then we'll give you a speed up version later. Let me taste this. So you it's know what? no taste it. It tastes like sour cream. So it's not. Uh, it has no dairy I'm in not it. Not even that. Cheese. No, taste it. I don't like sour cream on my taco. I want to know if it tastes like dairy to you. I don't eat. Smell it. Right. Smell like dairy? No, it smells like sour cream. Which is dairy. I don't know, that ain't my flavor. <laughs> you drank that the whole summer in the smoothies that I was giving it, it you. It tastes like it now. I mean, it's like an afterburner, but aftertaste, but. Okay. So what's next? So we're so gonna blend it. it now, this is it. The only thing I would See, say. See guys, that's it, sorry, listen. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. The only thing else I would add to this was greens. Oh, spinach, Yeah, yeah, so if you're, if you're trying to get your greens in, you're trying to drink your greens, throw them in here. The combination of what you already put in will mask the greens. Otherwise, this is this is like my base in the morning. And I love it because you can also let your kids drink this and they yeah. think it's a health, you know. Yeah, they think it's like a McDonald's smoothie. Yeah. But you're gonna tell them that McDonald's smoothies are not healthy. I'm not gonna say nothing about McDonald's smoothies. <laughs> I even know I ain't been to McDonald's in a long time. So you so wanna we're gonna make, blend it. So we're gonna blend it. Yep. All right. Three, two, one, is ready. See? That's it, we're done? That's it. Should I, ladies first, taste them? Please. Mine? But this is not a milkshake. Remember that song that girl had that my, her milkshake brought all the boys to the yard? My milkshake does not bring the boys to the yard. Wow. I've tried. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cheers. I'm, cheers <laughs> to the good food. Oh, this shit is really amazing. I made an amazing smoothie today. With sour cream. Hey guys, I don't know where you are, but if you're watching this, make this smoothie. Just train nutrition. You need to be a part of this. Mary's an amazing chef. She just taught me how to make this. And you, you can use different ingredients if you want to. Your protein of choice. You can use milk. What about water? You can use water. Water's a good base, yeah, but yeah. it's, you know. And then you got regular butter or almond butter. Depends on your budget. 
obviously. Um, dairy yogurt or For the cacao probiotic, yogurt. Yeah. Um, and your choice of fruit. fruit. Yeah, yeah. Easy, simple, you know, got right down to the point. We made it a lot longer than it should have been because we, you know, obviously wanted you guys to stay tuned in. We took in. time, we took yeah. time. But hey, cheers again. Salud. Drink up. <laughs>